uh, NIL. So it's the hot topic in college football. Uh, the media loves to talk about it. My question for you is how much do recruits and players actually talk about NIL, and is it as much as maybe the media portrays it to be? Yeah, I, I think they talk about it as much <laughs> as the media portrays it. I think what the reality of NIL versus the way the media <laughs> portrays it is, is probably a little bit different. I think yeah. uh, put me on the on the category that is, is fully in favor of, of our student athletes getting a piece of this pie mm. somehow, some way, right? I think they're – there's never really been a better time to be a student athlete in terms of what you can do, what you can get, some of the freedoms and liberties that they now have. I think all of those things are, are right, and yeah. so we're excited for that. You know, like all of us, I wish we'd get a little bit of standardized, you know, <laughs> level legal, playing field, yeah, level yeah. Playing yeah. field and, and not necessarily from a money standpoint, just from a regulatory standpoint. Yeah. And, and then the other thing that I think is critical is is we need some open records. Like we need people to be able to see what the reality of NIL is, not yeah. what is being promised, not what is being spoken. Uh, we need to be able to, like, really be able to look at the reality. Yeah. I think that's important for young student athletes. Yeah, and, and I'm, I was excited to talk about this topic because I know how smart you are and articulate. What What is the solution to the NIL transfer portal? Is it federal federal legislation is it revenue sharing what what are your thoughts on yeah that? I, I think the first thing is is federal regulation to kind of standardize the rules i yeah. think the fact that a state can go in and, and create yeah. its own set it's of NIL state state. rules yeah. like that's something that that you know is going to get out yeah. of hand really quick and and people are going to find ways to utilize their own state mm -hmm. legislation to pre create yeah. NIL advantages, right? And that's mm -hmm. not something we can have. You, yeah. know, you can't have an NIL advantage for a college <laughs> in a certain state. Yeah. I think that's that's really important. And I think the other thing that's that's critical is is open records. I, yeah. I really do. I, I think we have to stop people from just saying to a student athlete, "Hey, I'm going to give you yeah. A if you come to my school," and then having no actual follow through with whether that's what gets delivered yeah. right and, and so we're not allowed to use it as recruiting inducements i think everyone understands that that's going on to some degree <laughs> throughout the, the college industry and that's not good for anybody it's not good for student athletes it's not good for your own roster it's just not a good way to go about yeah. it but i think there's also a lot of uncertainty for young men and, and they're being told hey We'll yeah. do this for you, and that's not really what's happening. Yeah. Real quick, I want to let you in on a secret of how I keep my face so clean. Our sponsor, Caldera Lab, has changed the game for me with their skincare products. Skincare isn't just for girls anymore, it's for the guys too. And if you're not on the skincare trend, what are you doing? I was never a big lotion guy until I got a little bit older. I'm 28 now, you gotta take care of the skin. Caldera Lab came to my rescue and I've never felt better. I love Caldera Lab and now you can too at calderalab.com slash Adam B for 20% off.